Hello everyone. Today I've come down to Kettlewell in Somerset to their new headquarters, which is very glamorous, I like it a lot. Um, and I'm going to do something slightly different with Melissa from Kettlewell. Um, and I'm going to let her tell you all about it, introduce it. I think it's a little bit uh, more exciting even. Wow, thank you. Well, thank you for coming all the way down to Somerset. Um, normally, uh, when Annabelle and I get together, um, we talk about colour. Well, today, we're going to talk about body shapes, um, because I know a lot of people have an issue about their, you know, certain areas about their body. Um, so we have invited Jo, who you may remember, she writes our weekly blog, and she's a House of Colour stylist. And we've invited three models, um, each with different body issues. So one has um, quite large boobs, um, one is very self-conscious about her middle, and the other one has is a pear shape and is worried about her hips. Um, so over to you, Jo. Okay, so when we thought about doing this video, we wanted to try and find a way to put Kettle World on real women. We all know that seeing a size 8 model in a catalogue is lovely, it's, it's beautiful, the clothes look fantastic, but what we found a lot in talking to customers is that they, our customers are looking at it and thinking, but okay, she looks lovely in it, but mm. I'm not going to be able to wear it. They're yes. nervous about they switch jersey, off too quickly. Yes. They're nervous about clinging fabrics, and we really wanted to show that there are styles of Kettle World for everyone. So we started to look at how we would break down the styles into body shapes and we looked first at the kind of five main body shapes and the different issues they presented and we've got three, of, three women coming along who've got examples of three of those shapes. So the five body shapes that, we're, you know, that we can summarise most women into, the first is a lean column shape. So it's women who are quite straight up and down, they've got structured shoulders, lovely legs, they've normally got fantastic athletic legs, they're often worried about their waist because they feel very straight, they don't feel like they have this beautiful hourglass shape. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think I would even call them. Yes, I think we did. Yeah. The next shape we have is an apple shape, and I think this is a really common shape among British women. Um, I gather it's the shape that's actually on the rise. It's uh, the, So many of my clients think that they're apple shapes. So many women struggle, again, with this waist area. They might have little shoulders, again, slim legs. But this area, they feel like they're, you know, they're thicker in the waist, they've yeah. got real tummy issues, they've often got boobs as well, so they feel quite large in this proportion. And that presents again another set of challenges to help them feel confident in their clothes. The third shape is a pear shape, where, again, it's, it's feeling big around here, it's worrying about their bottom, their hips. Mm -hmm. how to disguise that area, how to emphasize their top yeah. half, often small busted. Um, we've got the hourglass, um, mm -hmm. so that's the classic kind of, you know, the long 60s yeah. hourglass shape, yes. Melissa. Broad and in fact, small waist we both fall into yeah. the hourglass shape again. I've yeah. got the narrow waist, I've got very broad shoulders, um, and the, the bigger bottom half. So we've got that lovely nipped in waist, but often hourglasses worry about looking either booby or looking hippie, or how how not to look kind of too over the top as well, it's often casual dressing is often a problem for hourglasses. And the last shape we've got is the inverted triangle. Again, women with, can have very broad shoulders, you know, coming in to narrow hips. Again, often feeling that they don't look feminine enough, yeah. they've got these fantastic legs, but they're worried that these broad shoulders can dominate, and so they're kind of, it's almost the opposite problem of the pair, they want to disguise the opposite side of their body. And those are the five key shapes that we see most of our but clients slot into. I think the thing that I've seen today is how people have come thinking they're one shape, mm -hmm. and you've educated them that they aren't actually, and that has really been helpful, hasn't yes, it? Yes. I think we've all seen that, and things that they thought might look good on them. Mm -hmm aren't necessarily the best choice for their body shape. So it's quite a good thing to get done is to find mm -hmm. not only your best colours, mm -hmm. but also your your shape. Yes, to find out, to get some realistic, who's unbiased, to check your body shape, to see what shape you actually are, rather than exactly. what we decide we are. We all have our own hang-ups. So we're going to uh, now go on to look at Louise, who's our first uh, model of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and each week, I'm going to run another video with a, a different body shape. There'll be three of them in all. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about the problem areas that you find when you're dressing. <laughs> I've talked a bit about the bits that I noticed were amazing on Louise, which is obviously what I'm here to see. But what are the bits that you actually feel less confident so in? The, so the bits that I will, will always try and conceal is, is sort of the middle, really. I hate anything too tight that reveals the whole kind of bra bump. I'm particularly sort of neurotic about my stomach area and muffin tops I can't stand, so I tend to wear high-waisted trousers, 
often with a side zip so that I don't have to have anything bumpy on the front. And then I like to wear layers to kind of conceal as much as possible in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so obviously, I mean, I look at Louise and I just see these fantastic structured shoulders, these lovely legs, but what, I, what we need to do when we're, look, when we're trying to dress you is to also make sure that you feel comfortable, that you feel good. So we need to acknowledge those areas that Louise struggles with. And one of the first things that we picked out was the Lulu double layer top. And the reason that we went for this... Ideal, because um, it's structured underneath and loose on the top. It's got exactly what so, you said. Exactly. It makes you feel good. It's all built in layers. It's got an open v-neck so it's not too big and blocky up here. Yeah. You can move in it. Um, and yeah, that longer layer vest uh, because you're tall. And looseness. Gives you the structure. Yeah, that's no, good. I like it. <laughs> So moving on to the second piece that we've put you in, Louise, we've stuck with a really similar idea. We're sticking with that more structured base layer to give you the length, to give you the structure, the support that you that keeps you feeling comfortable yes. around your tummy. With that looser top layer over, we've gone for a much more casual look. Yeah. So we've gone for the, the cotton rib jumper. How do you feel in that? Uh, I, really, I really like this. I mean, I can see myself wearing that uh, at home with the kids, running around, very comfortable. Um, I'm not sure that professionally, in my professional life, it would be quite smart enough. Although, for rehearsal, you like things that move, mm -hmm. so I would certainly rehearse in it. Okay, that's good. So we talked a little bit more about kind of ways to find clothes that were flexible between going between your casual life that would still work when you're going to rehearsals, to auditions, things yeah. like that. So looking at some of the other outfits that we put together, one of the things that we both really liked was um, looking at the longer draped yeah. wraps um, over something like a striped top, which gives it, again, a little bit of structure, a base layer to help you feel. See, I think that with a, a, with a, a, sh a short dress underneath would be really dramatic. The long wrap, yeah, that would work so well. For an audition. So it's a piece that could go for both. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then the casual t-shirt can be an everyday thing yeah. that you can the dress jeans. down for working yeah. with the kids. Yeah. And... The other thing we talked about when we were looking at the wraps, so we've got two wraps. We had the longer one, which we felt would add drama. If you wanted something that was a little bit more formal, a little bit uh, something you could wear with an evening dress, because I know you have to wear evening wear um, yeah. on stage and things, something like the long sleeve mid cascade. Um, you could pair with one of your, your dresses for singing, you know, yeah. to look at your evening wear yeah. outfits yeah. that you have to wear. So something like that could work really well for that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I really like that. Cool. And the last outfit we looked at was again coming back to the more casual side. Punchy and we loved light. this one for the colour. We just we saw how amazing you look in these really vibrant colours. And we wanted to push you a little bit out of your comfort zone with this. Yeah, no, I have um, a sports bra in this colour. <laughs> That's never a colour that I imagined that I would wear, but actually it's great. Yeah. So this, this is the Tasha top, isn't it? Yes, the Tasha top. And again, we layered it over a longer vest top to give that structure, to give you the support underneath, to help you feel confident with mm. your tummy area. And to add the contrast that works so well for you, we've added in the navy blue Florence Infinity. Yes. And it breaks up that expansive yellow to so that you can do the splash of colour without feeling too kind of intimidated yes. by yes. it. Yes. Yeah, I think I'd have to be in a very particular mood. <laughs> <laughs> you could totally do it. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, and to finish up, what I just wanted to show you was a couple of the amazing scarves and colour options that you can add to add some interest and some texture to your outfits. You've said you love a scarf. I love a scarf. They work what so well. What singer doesn't love a scarf? <laughs> <laughs> and we both really love this colour, didn't yeah, it's we? it's fabulous. It's the cashmere gauze stole, so it's beautifully lightweight but warm. You said you sing in churches. Yeah. This is the sort of thing that, again, like the mid-cascade wrap, you could throw it over your shoulders, yeah. it gives you the warmth, it's got a colour pop over a black evening dress. Absolutely. I have to say, I mean, I, I, well, I always have a scarf with me. I will, you know, wear it like that or I will, you know, keep my head, my neck warm. Mm. This is my instrument. I need it <laughs> to be working, so I try to keep it warm. Yeah. So I, I love so the scarf works so well. The cashmere yeah. gauze stole is a more formal option. It's a beautiful dress so evening it's so option. Light. And then we've also got for more casual, we've got something like the camo scarf, which I love. I have this in my colour palette um, because I just think it's a fantastic casual scarf. Again, it's putting you back into mum mode. Does it open out? Oh, it does open out. Yeah. <laughs> back into mum mode. It's a much yeah. more casual option, but it works so well. It adds a little bit of youth, a little bit of interest. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. it's still going to have that extra cosy warm layer. And we said we all, you know, we want to be warm and cosy here. Yeah. So let's 
Have you feel, are you feeling a little bit more confident with the kettlebell pieces? Are you feeling a little bit more like we've converted you to some of the styles? That yes, we do? yes, actually. I mean, I think I definitely would look at the catalogue and think all of those fabrics are going to be too silky and unstructured and that actually they're just going to reveal all my lumps and mumps. But as you can see, with the more structured fabrics, um, I feel very comfortable. Plus, I can use these lovely long... I mean, that to, to have a long camisole like that is really unusual. Um, no, I think definitely I'm confirmed. You're prepared to give it a try <laughs> yes. now. Brilliant. Yes, Thank absolutely. you very much for, for talking about your body shape and being so honest about the issues you have yeah, and for kind right. of embracing the things that we've tried today. Thank, Thank you. you.